Welcome back, my lovely little juice sippers, to our next deep dive, all things related Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. So we got big news in the Bravo world for today. Mauricio Umansky has finally spoken out about his divorce from Kyle Richards, and we all know he's been hush-hush until now, but he's hinted that it's been a tough ride. Let's dive into what he spilled. Honestly, you do not want to miss this. All right, so check this out. Mauricio was spotted in Aspen, Colorado last week, and guess what? He was overheard saying that he and Kyle Richards are not together anymore. Hmm, yeah, you heard it right. They were at this trendy spot called Kimosabe, and Mauricio was chatting with a lady during happy hour. Emphasis on lady. <laughs> he even mentioned something about moving out of their house in Encino, California. Mm hmm. But hey, at least he made it clear that their kids are still a top priority in all of this. Now, don't get me wrong, the convo wasn't flirty or anything. It's still a mystery whether the woman was just a fan or a friend. But Mauricio was having a blast, smiling and dancing while one of his friends played Wonderwall by Oasis on the guitar. So clearly he seems to be having a good time away from Kyle and all the drama. Even recently, when some people at page six reached out to him, Mauricio was all business, saying he was just focusing on work stuff with the agency and didn't chat about his personal life. He says he was actually there for a business trip, celebrating the grand opening of Stranahan's Whiskey Lodge, a new appraised ski hangout. At first, I was a bit disappointed he wasn't giving us much information, but but, but, lucky for me, he did spill some tea in the trailer for his show's upcoming season, which I'll be getting to in just a bit, so hold on. I mean, in all this split drama, it isn't as if Mauricio and Kyle aren't meeting at all and are just estranged significant others. The two were seen together at their youngest daughter Porsche's 16th birthday bash in LA. They even arrived in the same car. Mm hmm Can you imagine? These people, I tell you. One minute they're together, the next they're not. I'm just hoping they figure it all out, bless their hearts, especially for their kids' sake. Now, trust me when I tell you that I've been glued to my screen for the entire season 13 of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, literally hoping for some juicy updates on Mauricio and Kyle split. But duh, it was like chasing just tiny bits of info leading nowhere. It was just cliffhanger after cliffhanger, drama after drama, but not the real tea, you know? You know? So now I've got all my hopes pinned on Mauricio's show, Byron Beverly Hills, and its upcoming second season on March 22nd. Everyone is saying that he's not holding back this time, so fingers crossed we get some real tea as to what actually went down between the power couple. Honestly, you guys can't even guess how excited the trailers made me. So when you watch the trailer, it looks like the cameras were rolling when Kyle and Mauricio Umansky talked about their separation to their family. Um, hello? Imagine we'll get to see the whole raw, unfiltered scene of the big family talk. I can't even wait. Okay, okay, so let's talk about this trailer. It starts with a scene where Kyle's dabbing her eyes in their bedroom, having somewhat of a tough chat with Mauricio. He's sitting on the bed saying, I've been so stressed and the travel obviously affects us. Like, I could just feel the tension through the screen, guys. I've been so stressed and the travel obviously affects, you know, us. Then it cuts to a family dinner where Kyle gets serious with their daughters, Alexia, Sophia, and Portia, plus Kyle's eldest, Farah, from her first marriage. She's like, we wanted to have this conversation when we were all together for obvious reasons. And you can just hear the dramatic music coming up. We wanted to have this conversation when we were all together for obvious reasons. I'm really sorry, you guys. She adds, I'm really sorry, you guys. And the scene ends, ugh, leaving us all hanging. But the very next scene kind of seals the deal when Mauricio says outside, she wanted the separation. She wanted the separation. How will this affect the business? Like, wow, it's really happening. If they're giving us such big clips in the trailer, imagine what the actual show will feature. Some big juicy gossip for sure. And get this, a source confirmed to people that all this drama was filmed during the couple's separation for the show's second season. So it's been a long time coming and I'm pretty sure we can get some actual moments from the separation in the show. And you know, if you ask me, it's super brave of them to let cameras in on such a personal moment. I mean, it has to be tough to share that with the world but I'm also really curious to see how it all unfolds on the show. So I'll just appreciate Mauricio's efforts for capturing the raw emotions from such a hard time and deciding to share it with all of us. Now, of course, what I'm dying to see is that raw, unfiltered family convo at what I assume is supper. 
I mean, Bravo tried with their version of a family talk, but it just left me and other fans hanging and feeling annoyed. So I'm like, I'm just requesting Netflix to finish this drama. Let's just lay it all out there, please. I don't think my heart can handle another season of fluff. The agency is obviously in the real estate game, but I'm just here to see Mao outshine Kyle in this drama. During Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, he was pretty quiet about their split, but his body language said it all. Always looking down during serious talks, but I'm hoping buying Beverly Hills season two will shed some light on the, his side of the story. It's as if the drama just doesn't stop for Kyle. I honestly feel bad for her. Y'all know how much I love her, so it's so hard sometimes to see her constantly struggle through this. Just when things were getting better with her sister Kathy Hilton, her niece Paris Hilton got riled up over some comments Mauricio Umansky made about her dad, Rick Hilton. Ugh. Enough already, all right? So here's the deal. Mauricio spilled some major tea on his show about feeling underappreciated when he worked at Rick's firm, Hilton & Highland. Mm-hmm. That's why I left and started his own agency. On March 19th, Kyle spilled the beans on an Amazon Live that she hasn't chatted with her niece about the recent social media shade Paris threw at Mauricio and his company, the agency. Kyle was like, she talked to her cousins and they sorted it out. But seriously, no more drama, please. I can't take it. And like, I understand how hiring that must be. Now, um, so in a sneak peek of season two of Buying Beverly Hills, Mauricio gets real about why he left Hilton and Highland. But of course, ditching his brother-in-law's company and launching his own caused a big family feud. I mean, what did everyone expect? Leaving family will always cause drama. I kind of got the short end of the stick at Hilton Highland, he said. Now I'm happy, but back then I was a big part of their success and it just went sour, Mauricio also said in a confessional. Hilton Highland is a great company and I respect them. I'm still Rick's brother-in-law but the fallout really hit Kyle hard. Her family stopped talking to her. After this clip hit the internet, Paris jumped to her dad's defense and slammed her uncle for stirring up old drama. My dad is all class and keeps it positive, Paris commented. He'd never trash talk family. We're all tired of Mauricio using our name to hype up his show. Enough already. Of course her comment has gone poof since then. Way to go, Paris. Stir up drama, then delete your comment. As for Kyle, she's just hoping for a drama-free zone now that Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 13 is done. I'm so overhearing the same old drama, she said. I thought after the reunion I could chill, but nope, there's more coming. Kyle added, my whole family is in the spotlight. I'm on TV, my niece, my sister, it's a lot. What can I say? With all this public scrutiny, Kyle's even questioning her future on reality TV. When asked if she'll stick with the housewives, she said, I can't say right now. I need some time to think and see how I feel. I mean, what? Kyle? I don't want Kyle to leave. There's no real Housewives of Beverly Hills without her. I, I understand it's gotta be tough dealing with all this drama though, especially when it's your family. Honestly, I just hope they can find some peace and maybe keep some things private for their own sake and my sake. What do you guys think? That's it for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for all the real Housewives tea and drama. See you next time.